G'day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today I have a special little package here. Um, okay, I jumped on this as quickly as I could because I'm pretty sure it will be sold out very soon. But I'm also pretty sure we will get new ones, well we, um, the retailers will get new ones quite quickly. Because I can't see this thing not being a hit everywhere. Anyway, for our unboxing knife, we will be using Big Blue, my ADV Ronin. Okay. Wonderful work on taping this thing shut. Okay, I got this from the knife guy, but like I said, I don't know how long... Um, these ones will be available. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh, marvelous. Okay. So let's get to the main event. Inside here, I have a Civivi box. We've been seeing a few Civivis now lately. Um, I love Civivi, and I was always into Civivi big time, but... I haven't bought so many Civivis this last while. Now, anyway, this one I had to jump on because I was very excited about this one. And which one might this be? This is the Civivi Altis. Okay, Burgundy G10 with Nitro V Blade. Now, apart from a big... Um, fixed blade knife this is the only well this is the only um, nitro v pocket knife that i have so i don't know how that's gonna go i'm pretty sure it will work beautifully but we'll see okay so vv made in china beautiful little thing as always you have the little elementum and the green sticker and the microfiber cloth <coughs> And then here we go. Okay, like I said, this is only a first look. I will do full review on this guy once I had it for a little while. Okay, beautiful G10 scales. I quite like the burgundy. The only other option I could find, um, I couldn't find the wood one. I really wanted the wood one, but I couldn't find that one. Um, the only other one I could find was the black one with the satin blade. And normally I would have gone for that, but I don't know, there's something about the black and burgundy that looks quite awesome. Okay, we have a Civivi clip, uh, the flat screws, not recessed, but at least you can swap it around. And then what makes this thing awesome is the thumb studs and the size. Okay, um, I don't know why, but I've been gravitating towards thumb studs. It, for me, it works easier. Nothing wrong with flippers and all of those things, but I'm quite digging the thumb studs. Now, the fact that this thing is a button lock with thumb studs, that makes me extremely, ex extremely excited. Okay, let's quickly see. Okay, we have a post over here for a lanyard, two standoffs there, and then the pivot. And that's it for construction. Everything, like all Civivis, feel fantastic, beautiful, smooth, chamfered. Oh, that is fantastic okay let's take this away because the black and black beautiful blade shape almost a spear point but it's more of a drop point because it's not 100 percent symmetrical wonderful jumping oh it drops beautifully let's see if we can spidey flick it oh yes we can quite nicely Okay, so spidey flicking straight out of the box. Okay, I'm loving this. Okay, I dig this blade shape a lot. Uh, flat grind. Quite a high flat grind. Not a full flat grind, but quite high. Towards the tip it is completely. Does have a swedge over there. I don't know if you can see that. But this thing is so black, you cannot even see it. Okay, it's a beautiful 
deep black, but it's not like painted black. Well, it, I suppose it is a coating, but it doesn't look that like it's been sprayed on or something. Okay, I'm digging this Altus. Okay, it feels nice in hand if you have a normal hammer grip, cyber grip. It fits into my hands beautifully. You're very close to the blade. You can do that thing where you roll your hand around, or your finger around that if you want to choke up a bit. It's a wonderful little knife. Three inch blade, I think. And it's not a huge knife. How long is that thing? 18 centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to play with this. Okay, no stick of any kind anywhere. But I will give it some oil. And I will give it some love and play with it for a while. See how smooth it will get. How quickly. And watch out for the full review on this one. Okay, I'm digging this thing a lot. I should really get a sheet of paper. Something I, that I can cut to see how... I see, that's going to tell you nothing. <clears throat> okay, either, either, neither, neither. I love this knife. And I will be playing with this. Oh, there we can see a bit of the texture on that plate, the color. You see, it's not a flat, flat black. It's a more lively black. I'm really, really enjoying the G10. And then everything blacked out apart from the actual edge. Otherwise, everything nice and black. We can see a lot of skeletonization in there. It doesn't feel very heavy. Okay, this might turn out to be one of the most awesome EDC knives for this year. And I must say, I'm really loving all of the button locks coming out now. I really hope the other companies follow suit and we get lots and lots and lots of button locks. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so this is a little Monday afternoon video. You don't get a lot of those, so enjoy. Um, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.